Hello, I'm Alex from a and Solution and today I'm going to show you a small example of a fiber to the home planning using microducts. I've already loaded a DXF background map as you can see and we're going to plan on this map. First step will be placing our optical node in a convenient location. Let's say we place it here. Now this is a worksheet. If you click on it you get inside an empty sheet. This just serves as our starting point for further operations at the moment. The next step is placing our real houses, which will also be worksheets. I've prepared a small MDU symbol, which basically symbolizes just a house. I'm going to align it to this DXF frame and place it here. So I'm at the moment only placing one, because we will copy this later on. Now I will turn this into a worksheet and inside the sheet we can plan the structure of the house on the inside. We do not have a signal here, so we will just start planning from the customer side anyway. First object I will place is the so-called optical bridge point. This is the ONT on the customer side. This is a library object and has been pre-configured to send on 1537 wavelength. What do we do with one? Nothing. Need more. So I'll just copy a few. Line them a bit. Copy another set. Just here. And let's say these are our customers. Now microducts are such a useful tool that we can use them in-house also. So I'm gonna pick up a low fire hazard microduct here. We have 10 customers here so I'm just gonna use a 12 package, place it here and next step will be connecting the customers to the microduct. To make this easy we've created a block deployment for microduct to just uh, select all the ONTs into a block and click on block deployment. Then you choose where the signal comes from, this will be from the bottom. And AD automatically creates the connections from the microduct to the ONTs. The last preparation steps for reusing this house will now be entering a length into the microduct bundle. Let's say this R. 20 meters and opening the leaves of this microduct. What this is is a representation of the subducts in the microduct package. You see these two large dots here. These mean that there's two subducts which are not connected to anything. So now the inside of our house is, is ready and now we can copy this to the other houses. To reuse this house, we will just copy this sheet to different locations. Now we can start connecting this to our optical node. To connect these houses, we will use 24 ducts. Let's click here. Clicking with a cable or a cable-like structure on the sheet opens this dialog where we are asked if we want to create a new sheet connector and I say yes. This creates basically a hole in the sheet that we can use to move the cable through. I'm just gonna place this microduct here. In reality you would follow a trench or a bore line, something like that and let this end here. Next step is splicing off, so to say, one of the bundles. Since we have twel a 12 microduct inside here, but a 24 here. So we're gonna use an enclosure. We'll drop it here, and turn it into a worksheet also. Now connect it to this closure jump into the sheet. Now what we have here is 
sheet connector. You can pick up the microduct that comes from the outside, make it longer, and open the fan. Now you can see there is colors there. This is a different microduct bundle. This has color set. Now we have to connect the two houses from the outside to the inside. I'm going to take a microduct with a 12, connect it to our MDU sheet and to our enclosure and the same going up here into the other house. Now these two houses have one 12 duct package going in. We only have to create the connections inside this sheet. You can connect microducts directly to each other without placing a fiber between them. I'm going to pick up the duct package here, create the fan, do the same here, also create the fan. Now I'll just line them up and connect them. Now you can see the color code is still intact. And you can also see that there's no information in the leaves yet because the addresses are not set. So let's connect the inside part of the house. We'll pick up the duct bundle here. Open the fan. Put this into a block, move it around and now the connection is done. We already have a full connection from the ONT at the customer down outside through the enclosure to our optical node. Let's repeat the same for the second house. Take this here, pick up, create the fan, block, move them together and now two houses are connected. Now to show the connection we're going to set the address information. This road is called Sitio Grande going to set this as the location in the house. This is the city of Montevideo, not Sitio Grande, number 9. This one is same city, same road, but number 11. And if I click on our closure here, you can now already see the addresses are set. On the other side the addresses are not set because the optical node itself doesn't have an address yet. We can change that. Let's say the optical node is residing at house number 17. So we'll set house number 17 here. Now if I go inside there There's our sheet connector from the outside. I can pick up the 24 bundle here, open it up, and now you can see these are the addresses that we are providing the microduct connection to. The two empty ones also have the address set because they end inside the address.